man, hell of a fight. Hell of a fight last night, man. Just woke up top of the morning to y'all. Hell of a fight, man. That was, I'd say, it's, it's, it's continued for fight of the year, for sure. Canelo versus Triple G Part 2 contributes to fight of the year, or candidate for fight of the year. You know, just, just setting my, you know, dislike for Oscar De La Hoya, Abel Sanchez by saying black fighters don't sell, talking about Mexican style, you know what I'm saying? Besides all that, just, just the pure boxing skill that was displayed last night was great. It was a great fight, man. I picked Canelo coming in to win by points, and he did. He did his thing. Um, one thing I got to say about Triple G, man. Triple G is Triple G is mentally tough. He's mentally tougher as a European style fighter that these HBO commentators like to praise, especially Jim Lampley and Harold Letterman. It's funny, right? I've been saying, you know, old ass eighty five year old Harold Letterman <clears throat> still um, favoring Triple G, even though he got beat by his own style, right? Canelo, the smaller man, was walking him down, being the aggressor. And Triple G was backing up, right? Triple G resulted into a just a jab, jabinator. <laughs> just doing jabs all night, afraid to go to the body because he was going to get countered, just like I said before. You know, them body shots, I don't know how Triple G was able to withstand those body shots, but obviously, them body shots took a toll. Um, anybody else in 160 would have went down, but he was able to just, I don't know how, to withstand those body shots. Couple of things I noticed also within the fight, like, you know, I had scored the fight. Uh, it was a close fight, man. I had to, I had to fight seven to five uh, Canelo, right? And um, I think it was a fourth or fifth round where Canelo just came back with some devastating body shots where, you know, it was to the point where Triple G folded up and was backing up, trying to retreat and recover. And when he got in the corner, right, there was a look on concern in both in both sides, a look of a concern on Triple G's side. Uh, not only that, he was dead tired, like breathing hard. I never seen him so tired and breathing hard like that, but that concern look on his face. And as well as uh, Abel Sanchez, where he whispered in his ear, saying, "It was kind of, it was just stupid as hell. You're on national, t you're on, you're on pay per view with cameras, and you're gonna whisper in your fighter that you're losing. That right there was his downfall. Also, that look on, con the look of concern, and the fact that uh, Abel Sanchez said, "Hey, you're losing the fight." <laughs> Both of them had lost confidence in that fight. And again, the same thing Abel Sanchez was complaining about in the first fight where he said, well, Canelo needs to stand there and trade and, and, and give the fans what they want. Well, he gave exactly what you wanted, motherfucker. He gave exactly what you wanted, and you ain't do shit but throw a bunch of jabs. That's it. All you did was throw a bunch of fucking jabs. You was able to do a couple of hooks, you know, a couple of overhand rights, a couple but for the most part, you were doing nothing, nothing but jab. You were a jabinator last night. A jabinator. Canelo reduced you to a jabinator. Canelo was just doing all kinds of combinations. Um, the body shots were so devastating that when he was fainting, my son's in the building. Good morning, son. How are you? Me five. It's bright in here, right? Well, Dad. Yes, it's, uh, it's bright in here. Uh... What was I going to say? Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi. Good. Yeah. Uh, boy, you got to change your shorts. Go change your shorts. Change your underwear and your shorts. All right. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, that fight, man, uh, Canelo took it to him, man. Took it to him. Uh, Triple G rallied, behind, rallied around the seventh round and up. Like, round seven through 11, basically, was like... He was trying to come back. So I give Triple G a lot of credit for showing heart, try to come back, you know what I'm saying, and, and steal some rounds and stuff like that. Um, but 
the the aggressor, the guy who controlled the distance, the guy who controlled the range, was Canelo all night. It was only like a f it was only like one round where Canelo backed up and was in the ropes. I think it was around like nine or ten, and it was just for a few seconds. I say, man, you better get back to the center of the ring and do what you did before, and he did. But yeah, it was it was the pendulum kind of swung and 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 uh, Triple G rallied back, and um, Canelo he showed his stamina was much better, right? But he still was a little tired in the later rounds, but much better compared to the first fight. Much better, and again he he stood his ground toe to toe with Triple G, and you know, I can say like it's a mentally. Triple G is really tough compared to any other European style fighter like a Kovalev. You know what I mean? Really tough. I give him props for that. Really tough, but you got beat. You got beat with your own so called Mexican style. That Mexican style where you stand there toe to toe and you're the aggressor and you walk him down, you lost to that very style that Canelo did to you. The same thing that he was shamed for not doing the first fight, bro. You lost. <laughs> you lost. So a hell of a fight last night, man. I'm gonna watch these uh these post interviews. Hopefully, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation, uh, Blue Blood Sports, all those guys out there reporting. I believe Barbershop Conversations is out there as well. Hopefully, I'm gonna watch their interviews and they ask some good questions. I want to know what did Canelo take before the weigh-in at that pill thing he took. What was that, right? I want to know about. Uh, Abel Sanchez, what happened, bro? Why didn't you walk him down? Why didn't you cut off the ring? What happened? What was your strategy? What, why, why did you allow Canelo to walk you down to be the aggressor? Why were you just resorting to jabs? Why was, why was, uh, why was Triple G reluctant to go to the body? Well, did you get hurt by those body shots? Of course he got hurt. You're not going to admit it, but those are the questions I want to know. All right. So anyway, family, intense to my son. Um, that's all I got. Great fight. Like I said, hell of a fight, man. Great fight. One of the fights of the year. So, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist. Leave your comments down below. Signing out. Peace.